money, religion, politics. Growing up, most of us were told to avoid these topics, and when working with students from all over the world, it's still pretty good advice. But what happens when students bring up sensitive subjects or ask personal questions? How should we respond? Hey, I'm Mike, and today we're dealing with sensitive topics. We know what topics are best avoided at Christmas dinner, but these same subjects might not be considered controversial in other cultures. In fact, one culture's taboo can be another culture's small talk. For example, some students may bring up politics because it's been international news. Others may openly discuss their faith and be curious about your religious customs. So how do we navigate these tricky subjects? Two quick ground rules. First, it's important to know your limits. Everyone has one or two hot button issues that we can get pretty passionate about. Remember that the main goal is for your student to practice their English. If a certain topic is going to distract from that goal, it's probably best avoided. Take a moment to reflect on what topics, if any, you'd rather not discuss on Cambly. Rule number two. Just as important as knowing yourself is knowing your students. If a brand new student wants to talk politics, I usually redirect the conversation. But if one of my regulars, who I know and trust, asks for my opinion, I consider that on a case-by-case -case basis. Even then, these topics should be handled with the highest degree of care and respect. We don't want our students to feel personally insulted or misinterpret a comment as derogatory towards their country. So, what do you do if your student brings up a controversial topic and you feel comfortable discussing it? That's where luck comes in. L is for listen. Listen to your student express their views. It doesn't need to become a debate. Help them practice their language skills by offering corrections whenever you hear a mistake without engaging in a heated back and forth. Those corrections can lead you in a more productive direction. This might be the first time your student has tried to talk about a complex subject, so it can be encouraging to focus on the language aspect of what they're saying rather than whether you agree with them or not. U is for understand. Not everyone in the world is going to share the same views. That's life. Different cultures will produce different norms. Understanding that not everyone is going to agree with our beliefs can allow us to let go of the need to defend our own position. But sometimes you might hear opinions that make you angry or upset. Don't let the conversation spiral out of control and spoil the bond you're trying to build. Instead, C is for change the focus. You can direct the session into a formal lesson or you can pick something out of the conversation that's a great segue. You might thank your student for sharing their opinion and suggest working on an issue you noticed while they were speaking. Grammar resources or an article to focus on here would be a welcome change. If despite your best efforts, the student keeps going back to the topic you've tried so hard to avoid, it's best to K for keep it moving. If you feel comfortable saying so, explain that the topic is a bit personal in your culture or that there's a policy against discussing it. You could say you're happy to talk about the government in general if they'd like to learn how things work in your country, but you'd like to avoid political opinions. You could cover vocabulary related to the topic without actually getting into sensitive territory. The classroom should be a safe and comfortable space for both you and the student. So keep it moving, focus on language improvement, and with enough luck, you can transform these uncomfortable moments into great classes.